gentlemen, my name is Trey Mosley, and I painted the artwork for The Chariot's new record, One Wing. Trey is such a good friend. He uh, is a longtime friend of mine, um, friend of the band. Our friend Trey is an amazing artist, um, an amazing painter. And our, the artwork for this record is it's going to be way different than anything we've done before. When we got talking about ideas to do the album artwork and we wanted a lot of color in it because a lot of our past albums, they're very grayscale and black and white. The past few records have kind of had the same sort of tone. Long Live was, you know, sort of the, the shades of gray. Uh, Wars, obviously, since it was stamps, had to be black and white. With even the fiance, there's some color, but it's still very vintage, very old. You know, I tried to make uh, the colors somewhat vibrant and uh, to kind of draw the viewer in to kind of the concepts and the ideas that we were all trying to paint for everyone. This record is is way different than anything we've ever done and I, and I feel like all of us decided that it should be it should look different as well. I'll start from the beginning uh, when I was when I was conceptualizing the idea for the artwork with Josh um, he told me that uh, kind of like a rough understanding of what one wing meant. Well, we, we had a couple meetings and I explained to him, you know, what some of the songs meant, the lyrics, the, 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 the whole uh, idea about One Wing and where it came from, and, you know, and he was at a few practices, you know, while we were writing stuff. <clears throat> He's been in the studio several times, you know, so, so I feel like he has a sense of where we're coming from and what we're doing on this record. Because with a lot of bands, you make this music and you, you, you write it and you name the CD and you name these songs and you write these lyrics, you spend so much time on it. And then a lot of times, you know, you just, uh, you're done. You, you hand everything else over to the label and they create the artwork and they, you know. And so for the next record cycle, you have this whole visual that's like, has nothing to do with the band. Has, you know, the, the band approves it, but there's nothing. It's, it's really different. I mean, it's like a work of art other than just like having like, just, um, you know, just maybe just a picture. Um, with the band's name slapped on it. It's like something that he spent a lot of time on. So we're always trying to be sort of, we're always trying to engage in the artwork development of it. Uh, with the fiance, we were, our, our images were, was part of the art, it became part of the artwork, you know. Um, with, with Wars, we, uh, we hand stamped everything, you know. So is our blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, literally, um, that, that developed that artwork, you know. <coughs> um, with uh, Long Live, you know, as live shots, so it was us, you know, and, and that was all our idea, our plans, you know. As artists, we feel like we don't want to just make music and throw it up into the great abyss and, and hope for the best. How do you know The Chariot? What do you mean? I, I've been listening to the, to the Chariot since I was, you know, just a boy. Um, I remember when the Golden Tapes came out, uh, and then Everything's Alive, I remember all of that, and it was really inspiring to me. They, sh they even at the time, were showcasing freedom through their work, and it was something that I always had a fascination with. I ended up being able to go out with them and do some traveling and stuff, and we all just became really close. When they asked me to be involved, it was something that I jumped at, you know, I thought it would be really, I thought it would be something, a really incredible journey to be, to help out with, I guess. Do you have any uh, influences? Um, John Van Eyck, Salvador Dali, of course, you know, just a lot of different, very eclectic group of painters that I really respect. And also, like, bands like The Locust and, you know, James Chance and The Contortionist, the um, Plot to Blow Up the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that. Those were bands that really captivated me growing up. And um, also, honestly, The Chariot, you know, um, the idea of freedom. I mean, I, at the end of the day, I think it's some of the most honest punk. And when I was making the artwork for, for One Wing, it was uh, it seemed it seemed important to try to showcase that. The way he paints is so so congruent with our music, you know. And I think when you look closely, there's a lot of chaos involved with my work, but I think that it paints a bigger picture of I don't know some form of simplification. Very expressive, and they have this sort of uh, tension with with um you know, with some sort of passion. It's very spontaneous and I and I have it has to be spontaneous. It has to be in the moment. And when that happens I think, like I was said before, I think that's when the most honest work arises. That's kind of what I really tried to bring to the table when I made the piece for this record. So. Um, having an actual artist paint something 
and create something is really exciting for me. And he's such a good friend that it's going to be awesome having him, you know, be a part of the puzzle. It's just another piece of, of the record that is like up. The songs themselves are art and now we can say that the, the cover and the booklet and everything else associated with it visually is art as well. That's where I live. <laughs> that was like That's next true. door. Yeah, exactly. That was next door, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but um, yeah, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you know that's that, uh, and that completely ruined my train of thought. So there you go, Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs>